The Stock of the Day is brought to you by IG, Australia's number one CFD provider. With over 17,000 markets and extended trading hours, turn US earnings season volatility into opportunity. Get started at IG.com. Tesla is our stock of the day. Shares soaring some 15% at the end of the trade, uh, the session in the US off the back of that decisive Trump victory. Chief Executive Elon Musk, a close ally of Donald Trump and tipped to play a strong role in the incoming US administration. And Trump's threats during his campaign had an effect on decisions such as Tesla's, uh, who put on hold the construction of its giga, giga Gigafactory, I should say, in Mexico. So could Trump's policies have an entirely adverse effect on Tesla and Musk's interests with a tougher policy with China likely to bring retaliation from Beijing and a potential trade war? 40% of Tesla's deliveries come from China, where it has a gigafactory in Shanghai. Meanwhile, several Chinese assemblers, such as MG Motors, BYD, Great Wall, have made announcements or are preparing to plan invest in plants in Mexico, but also seen as competitors with Trump threatening, of course, significant tariffs on those vehicles coming in to America. So let's get across it. Uh, there we can see that spike at the end of the day. Thomas, let's start with you then. Is this a significant boost for Tesla, uh, particularly, I guess, given that close relationship that Elon Musk has with Donald Trump? I think there's no doubt it's a massive boost and uh, we saw that directly reflected into the charts there's so many things going on here and so many uh, of course questions about where the growth could come from from tesla as well i'll just start with the first one because i knew you know here's the chart so obviously i wanted to just quickly talk about the breakout and what this means uh, the market obviously broke to a new high uh, it came out firing in terms of above that 260 uh, zone now, what's really key here is that we had a huge amount of options in the market. People were already bullish on Tesla because of the move in recent weeks leading into this uh, US election. And then we see just an overwhelming amount of calls in the markets. Now, this tends to feed upon itself. Uh, and what that means is basically we enter into what we call positive gamma. So for the short term here, it looks like Tesla has a huge amount of buyers in it. Uh, specifically retail traders as well that have gone heavy in options and we've got two main key levels to look at obviously the 303 zone which is the previous resistance and then above that going all the way up to the uh the previous highs after the split which is around 363. so the, from the ta side i guess you would say things are looking obviously very bullish and pullbacks you would have to think we're going to be met by bull demand if we continue to see this uh Trump trade, I guess, go through. But then there's the next question. Where is Tesla's growth going to come from? As you mentioned, there's all sorts of things being put on hold. Uh, this is this is going to be huge for, of course, manufacturing of Teslas in the US as well. And I would say there's all sorts of potential advantages in terms of uh, uh, government incentives and stuff that could be bought in for Tesla. So I think the car side is going to do quite nicely. But really, I think it's going to be a robotic story. This is an AI story over the next year or two. And Tesla's, of course, trying to switch into an AI company. So, um, yeah, I, I would say that what I've seen from uh, Trump's obviously fascination with rockets recently, he's been talking about them a lot. You, you'd have to think that uh, Elon will do quite well out of the AI storyline. And I, I believe that the robots uh, and, of course, the AI side of Tesla is really where you're going to see the market start to get the forward projections and, more importantly, start to actually upgrade the Ford PEs on, on uh, Tesla. So yeah, I think it's overall a very big positive and um, obviously I'm sure M uh, Mark may agree with me. All right, I'll, what's your call though? Would you be buying at this level? Uh, look, it depends on your time frame. So if you're, if you're looking at just two days away, then maybe there's a little bit of, you know, up to that 300 range. But I think always with these trades is you tend to see out of the gates very strong then you tend to see a little bit of a simmering effect after people uh, you kind of in, you know, look at the markets and then uh, then you might get a little bit of a pullback. If your time frame's only a few days, I'd probably say the trade has happened at least initially. If your try time frame is three, six, 12 months and you're looking at uh, the long term, it's not the worst price we've seen on Tesla, uh, but obviously, you know, what, what's the difference of $10, $15 uh, when you're looking at, you know, potential Ford multiples going up. So mm. yeah, it's, it's okay, but you've got to make your own risk assessions. Mark. Uh, yes, well, uh, just on the tariff side of it, because the, the manufacturing in China, they will be supplying China with the Chinese manufactured cars and then they're providing the ones made in the US to the Americans. So that, you know, a lot of that, that uh, 
uh, relocation of factories and so on, you can, you can nullify those effects. Because I mean, one of the issues with China was they wanted them manufactured there. Yep. Otherwise they were going to whack tariffs on them <laughs> coming from the US. So that side is fine. I think, uh, I agree. I think it's, um, that he's going to benefit enormously from um, the Trump win. And because he, because he went all in with Trump, and I think it helped the campaign enormously bringing X in behind it as well, uh, he, was, he, he was taking a bet that he was going to win because if he lost, <laughs> there would have been retributions, I would say, from the Democrats. Mm. Uh, anyway, um, the, the other, it's quite a complicated story. I mean, if you look at the, um, the fundamentals, it's, it's only, Tesla's only been making money since 2020, and it's actually very profitable now. It's one of the few, uh, I think it's the only one in the US, the car manufacturer that is actually making decent profits out of electric cars. I think the last quarter they were six billion or something uh, free cash flow. So they're, they're actually generating very good free cash flow from uh, manufacturing, which is unique. And he's had a, a obviously an ongoing uh, process where he doubles down on efficiencies and saving money and getting costs down. And he did that when interest rates went up successfully from 20 and increased their profitability, even whilst reducing the uh, retail prices. So uh, I wouldn't bet against Musk. So I think the health of Tesla is actually quite strong, but I also agree that the, the main story is services and AI. And I wouldn't say Musk is trying to get into AI. He is an AI business without a doubt. Yeah. And their, their, um, their Gigafactory, sorry, their, uh, is it called Gigafactory? What's it called? The new one? Uh, not Giga, is it Gigafactory? Yeah. It's, it's the, it's, I think it's currently the most powerful s supercomputer in the world, and he's about to double it over the next year with uh, the new Blackwell chips from uh, NVIDIA. So at the moment, that's primarily focused on getting over the threshold for full autonomous driving. And uh, he's, he's saying he thinks, and he, I know people say that he's often gets the timing wrong on these things because they take longer, but some of the things are outside his control, like the approval processes and stuff. But he's saying uh, next year, uh, or yeah, they, they, they should be able to have a reliable, uh, full, it's a full autonomous situation where they can prove that it's safer on full autonomy than having a driver driving the car. And then it's, and it's getting better at a magnitude. Like he said, they've improved a hundred times this year and he expects it to go up a thousand times next year because of the amount of power they've got. And, and you were making the point earlier that the approvals process has become longer than the actual yeah. uh, concept, design, yeah. build. Yeah, it's yeah. Really absurd. Right. Yeah, so I, I think the, the bet on, te what you're doing with Tesla, if you invest in Tesla, and I think you can buy it now, I totally agree with uh, Thomas about time timing. We don't trade. So we look at it on a five-year basis. I'm a shareholder. Yep. I invested in Tesla a couple of years ago. I haven't bought any more, but I'm very happy. Um, and even though it hasn't done that much during that period, you know, it's, it's sort of been flat, came down a bit. But I think the real opportunities with the Optimus robots and so on, which they're, they're, all the robotics is coming fast, and that is going to massively change productivity and I just think, and the services for Tesla's where they're upgrading the software every week or two weeks. So the, the model will change when you buy new cars. So it's very much a service contract and less, there'll be a lot less on the cost of the car, and more on how much you pay to get a, you know, everything updated all the time. And I think Tesla will fit into that business. That suits the robo taxi business as well. So it's, yep. all, it's a services uh, subscription type model. And I think that's got massive potential. And in a five-year horizon, I'll be very surprised if it's not, Tesla's not a multi-trillion dollar uh, business. I think it's, it's just, he has a, such a track record <coughs> of delivering on everything, every domain he's worked in. He's made super successful, regardless of what everybody says. So do you buy in a pullback or is it long term? I think so. I think it, 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 well, it's just had a big increase. So yeah. it'll probably, the other thing with the US shares, which as a, as a big picture, is they're, much, they're generally a lot more volatile than Australian shares, particularly uh, the tech sector, yep. they have a bigger jump. So 10, 15% is quite common, whereas it's not here. So if you play that, what a lot of our members are doing now that are investing successfully in the US is picking the companies you want to buy and then put in uh, buy orders, uh, you know, about 10% below the market or whatever it is, you know, decent discounts, and they get triggered. Yeah. And just let them ride and then, re then renew it. So you're just buying on drops, but rather than trying to pick the drop, just put the order in at what, what the drop price you want and take it. Been more opportunity over there than here, as you there say. Is. All right, that is our stock of the day, Tesla. The stock of the day was brought to you by IG. Turn volatility into opportunity this US earnings season with extended trading hours on over 110 key US shares. Get started at IG.com.